What's going on guys, T-Mart here, welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 2. So in the last episode I asked guys which car you all wanted to see next. And there were quite a few good suggestions, but uh, a lot of people were requesting the Lamborghini Huracan. So that's what we're going to be working with. So we did get a quick glimpse of this car in the very first episode of Forza Horizon. It's kind of like the car you drove off the boat with and the first one you kind of like drove around and got your like intro tutorial with. So uh, we have used this before, but we didn't actually get to do a full race in it. And why not uh, test this thing out on the actual like big championship, which is what we're going to be doing today. So we got a long race ahead of us, so hopefully we can choose a, a good car to, uh, to pony up and ride with. I guess not pony up, we're hopping on the bowl, baby, the Lambo. So uh, I'm trying to look at some of these designs, and they have some sick ones. First of all, this is really sick, the Tron Lambo. This one also looks really good. This one looks really good. That one looks pretty good. There's a few down here. The matte black obviously looks insane. Also, you've got the plain yellow, which is kind of like the, um, the iconic Lambo color. The green looks pretty good. I really like Verde Ithaca on Lambos. The, the green here doesn't really look like Verde Ithaca, though. Uh, typically, it's a, a little bit more green than that. So I think I'm torn. I kind of want to go with the custom thing, but I also kind of just want to go with yellow because... Like I said in the last episode, it feels like it's a sin to drive anything that's not a red Ferrari, and I kind of get the same gist from Lambos. I also really like Verde Ithaca, like I said, which is kind of like their light green color. Uh, you know, black works too. Uh, orange on event doors is pretty nice, but uh, I think for the most part, yellow is definitely way the way to go with Lambos. So uh, that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing today, boys. So here we go, hopping in the Huracan. We're gonna get it, baby. This is the new, uh, new kind of baby Lambo. This is the, the teeny tiny intro Lambo. We're at a quarter million dollars. Replaced the Gallardo last year. But it's, um, it's definitely a beast. So here we go. Got the rising finale ahead of us, boys. Let's see what we can do. Gosh, that thing is so mean. Just look how aggressive those lines are. Lambos are by far my favorite. I don't really like the, the tail lights on the, the Huracan as much. I like the, the newest, or kind of like the most recent Gallardo's tail lights, like the, the tiny rectangles. I think those looked really, really good. Wow, look at what we're going up against. All right, this is it. The event is really? We've got quite Was that an Audi RS5 that I saw? And a Corvette Stingray? Okay, All right, it. I'll take Focus, it. Mate. You can do this. We're going to be able to smoke some people, man. So we're going to start off first half the race, as you guys know, is going to be outside the vehicle. Second half, we're going to hop on inside the cockpit and see what we can do. But uh, for now, let's stick out here, take a, a nice view of this rear end, and... Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Jiminy Christmas. Alright. Got our checkpoint. But that puts us in 11th place. Now we got some, uh, some making up to do here, folks. We were going so fast. Oh, man. I forget that when you're going 150 plus miles an hour, it's kind of hard to break. You gotta give yourself, say, uh, Pretty much like a NASA landing strip to be able to break. We're racing against a Mustang? Oh, come on! Really? Really, you're gonna go and do that to me? You're gonna... Sp mm. All right, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make this up. We'll have to wait and see, boys. We're going to try our darndest, but they have got quite the lead on us. That's all right, though. I'm always up for a challenge. As long as we don't freaking spin out and flip over, we're going to be okay. We're back in the pack here. I'm excited, man. So next episode, since we're going to have this thing completed, we're going to get back into the uh, the road trip mode. 
We're gonna be able to road trip to a new destination, so I'm looking forward to that. Gotta think about where we wanna go. Come on, Mr. Jaguar. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was going the wrong direction. Gosh, we're going so fast. We're only 16% through the race, too. And I was nervous about not catching back up to first. Are you kidding me, baby? Look at what we were just able to do. What the hell is this guy driving? He's driving that Ford RS2000 or whatever. We did that bunny hop golf course episode in that thing. You guys remember that? We had to do like all the bunny hops and stuff. Had to jump around and, and get a high skill. No wonder we're beating up on these guys so bad. This Huracan is in a freaking class of its own. It should definitely have a little bit stiffer competition than this, dude. Why are we not racing with like four, five, eights and stuff? I mean, those are a little bit better than this, but I feel like it's a close. I feel like it's a closer match than what we're currently dealing with. Oh my god. Woo! We got our work cut We got our work cut out for us, boys. Alright. We're gonna be okay. We gotta cut that out though, because we're starting to get a little bit deeper into the race, and if we keep doing that, we're gonna put ourselves in a position where we can't catch up. So we really, we really gotta step it up here. Not only did we bypass the freaking turn, because I'm sitting here babbling about cars, because that's what I do, but we also freaking missed the checkpoint when we turned around. Are you kidding me? We're getting BS to no end. That was gonna be our ticket into first place. Look at that shortcut. We would have been in first for sure. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. We're gonna cut across this way. Oh man, look at us. The cheese is real. Oh, just jumping over cars. Guess who's back, bitches? Bet you hate to see me in your rear view. Good thing you'll never see me back there again in this, this race. I got that thing. Got my face. We're 32% done, boys. I kind of like these episodes. I, I like, I, got, I think it's a glitch. I don't think you're actually supposed to do the big Horizon Championship over and over every time, but I kind of like it. It's fun to have one of these longer, longer races. Uh-oh, here we go. I get jealous, but I'm too cool to admit it. I'm ready to get in the cockpit, man, but we're only 35% there. It's gonna be my goal to beat these guys by as much as we can possibly beat them now. It's the bad luck that we've had so far. Oh, shit. Ah, ooh, okay. No Ford RS200, it's a Mercedes that we jumped earlier. Don't know why I get jealous. Here we go, baby. This 
guy is pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yes! Yes! I meant to hit that wall. I was hoping that we would catch that inside lip so it would just stop us. We wouldn't go rolling by. Honestly, I did see that turn coming up. Like, I noticed it down on the mini-map, but I didn't realize it was gonna come up that fast. I forgot that we're driving at 175 miles an hour, and, and things typically seem to come up pretty fast when you're going that fast. This guy's starting to book it a little bit. He's making me a little uncomfortable. Who did a guy do that? Was it last episode? I think it was last episode that he just like... He dipped out. No, it was two episodes ago. It was in the Benino episode. He just dipped out and we couldn't catch him no matter what. And I'm scared that's what's going to happen here. Oh, hey, look. Mercedes and Mercedes. Ain't that cute. I'm starting to catch up to him. Dig in, Mr. Huracan. Get some traction and let's, let's blow this boy away. Alright, y'all ready for this? 50%, it's game time. Oh yeah, we're beating them on the straights, boys. We can beat them on the turns too, but they just we've been racing poorly. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's get back inside. We actually, rather than turning around, we did good there to, uh, to just keep on going. We got a lucky spawn. I cannot believe that just happened. I literally cannot believe that that just happened. And the thing that sucks is if we don't win, this race today, we're gonna have to run this race in the next episode. We're gonna have to replay this super long race. Now, I like this long race, but I don't like playing it twice in a row. So, for that reason, we're gonna step our game up here. We're gonna go into full-on concentration mode. We got 40% of this race left, which is a very long time. And I think we would, we'll be able to catch up to this guy as long as we don't go crazy. Like that right there. Just stay on the gas, but be smart about it. Come on, Trap. I am fully focused right now. I wish my windshield wasn't cracked. Gaining a bit of ground here in Nice. Right, we just saw him for the first time. There he is! Oh man, all right. 33% left. Nice, dude. Good stuff, Trev. All right, now we need to pass this guy, dude. It's just us two. This race is just, it's down to us two. There's nobody else out here. Now we just need to pass him and make sure that he does not even come close to getting us back. All right, back into first. 
This is where we belong. I'm not going to replay this race next episode. We can do this. I got you guys. I'm trying to hit a nice road trip. Next episode, get into a new area, check out some new scenery, some new ladies, some new badass cars. Let's not go down the wrong side of a freaking highway this time. I don't know where he's at, but I thought we were going right back there. Good, no crazy turns coming up. Just kind of a straight, then we got a sweeping left. And a straight after that. Eighty percent done, boys. All right, let's gain some ground here. We got a pretty solid straight. Oh, dude! I couldn't imagine driving this car, especially in country like this, where you're just weaving along the cliff sides. You have all kinds of turns, beautiful scenery, elevation changes. Oh, this would be so amazing. Out of my way, Mr. Minivan. Not behind us. Shit, out of my way. I come around these corners and we're kind of sliding, so I literally, I, I can't avoid these cars. I don't seem to, we're already around the corner. Shoot, I think that was the shortcut. I always get confused as to it's, whether it's better or not to go high or low. I'm not sure, we took the safe route. Windshield's just getting more and more cracked. All right, 10% left. I Honestly, I'm glad things worked out the way they did. If we would have just absolutely dominated these guys the entire time, that would have been boring. But I think what happened made for a very good video. Because we, I, I'm, like, honestly, we're, we're lucky to have, have come out on top here. I did not think we were going to be able to make this work. But we were able to make it happen. Seven percent to go. Sun is setting on a beautiful day, folks. Let's do this. No trees, no barns, nothing in sight to ruin our day. Oh, yeah. That's it, folks. That's going to be all she wrote. We were able to pull this one out of our butt for sure. I can't believe we ended up with the win there. Good stuff, boys. Finishing it off with 185 miles per hour through the finish line. That was beautiful. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which car you guys want to see in the next episode of Forza Horizon 2. We're going to be road tripping to the next part of the map and uh, continuing on on our journey. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.